Let's talk about the psychology of being a salesperson. The reason that I titled this Ask for the Money is that's what you have to do. You have to ask for the money, like you have to ask for the pussy. You have to ask, you have to put forth effort. It's not gonna come to you easily. And one of the reasons that this is the first video in this course is to educate you on how to be great. Yes, how to be great. When you get in the habit of asking for what you want, you start to get it. How many times have you said without hes hesitation that you've asked for exactly what you wanted? No shame, nothing, just like, this is what I want. How many times in your life have you asked for that? When you were a little boy or a little girl, your parents, they got you out of that habit because when you were young, you saw a cookie, you wanted a cookie. There was no pretense, there was no playing around. It was like, I want those cookies. And your parents was like, no, little Johnny, no, little Susie. You can't eat cookies all the time, it's not good. But see, what they did was they completely beat out of you, ushered out of you, the ability to want and to clearly, with purpose and intent, ask for what you want. Now, they didn't know what they were doing. This wasn't malicious. They didn't try to mess you up for life. They just did. Once you learn to consistently ask for what you want, you'll get it. Now, here is the delayed gratification because this is what happens to most people and this is why most people cannot entertain a career in sales. They fall apart at adversity. Sales is daily adversity. Sales is putting out fires. Sales is solving problems. This is an ongoing concern. It never stops. And because the average person is groomed for a life of ease, quote, efficiency, they can't handle it. They can't hack it. Therefore, most people who get into the profession of sales fail because they are weak little bitches. United States of America, people used to be made of tougher stuff. Right now, we have a bunch of punks, bitches, cowards, little sniveling little weasels, scared little bitches. She said no. So what do you do? You go outside her house, you wait for her, you kidnap her, you rape her because she said no, because you can't deal with no. We've come in a very bad place in these United States of America. You know how many times I got rejected as a man? I had a chick tell me, uh, I just don't find you attractive. I don't find anything attractive about you. I mean, she went in. Now she went in because she was trying to hurt me because even though she didn't find me attractive, she got extremely wet when I fucked her. Now let's, let's, let's go back through that again. Fellas, have a chick ever told you that your dick game was bad? Has it happened till she told you to your face? Cause see, these are some fighting words. These are things that will tear men of lesser character and substance apart. That's all they have. They got the dick game, they got the mouthpiece, that's it. So if you go ahead and attack that, you attack a man in his soul. Once again, as we will get into with disruptive male, you need to build yourself where your sexuality is just a small part of who you are. So when she was attacking me and I was just sitting there like, wow, she got pretty wet. Wow, that pussy clenched around my dick quite hard. A few times she damn near pushed me out, but my dick game is weak. Now, if I'd been the average man, if I hadn't been rejected, over and over again, if I hadn't been told about myself by Michael Shanley Mason, like you suck at sales, if I had been that weak little bitch, you know, she probably got a different response out of me. But see, I've been told about myself and I listened and I made myself better. Many of you will never be successful in sales or business because you cannot go through that fundamental process of self development and personal growth. You are not going to do it. Just not. I don't care. I don't care how many videos I put out, whatever I talk about. You're not going to do it because it's painful. It hurts. It's hard. It is really, really hard. And what you have to do 
is so hard. Every day you have to wake up and start from scratch. There is no residuals. There is no efficiency. There is no uh, passive income. It's like every day we start from ground zero and you're measured by your production. You can't hide behind someone else's work because they're on that leaderboard. There's like Glendon Cameron, there's Jim Williams. It, it shows what you are doing. Are you being productive or you're not being productive? You can't hide from the leaderboard. You can't. The thing that happens when it all comes together, when you've been rejected, when you've been tested, then you walk into that client's office and all of a sudden you know exactly what's happening because you know you've been in that seat before. It's like, oh, they're doing this, they're doing this, they're doing this. And then you respond this way and you respond this way and you thrust and parry that objection. And the next thing you know, you walk out that building with a sale. It's going to take you some time to get there. And that's what this course is about. Ask for the money. I'm going to teach you how to be a salesman and I'm going to teach you how to be a hustler. First of all, and let's be fundamentally clear about this. You need to get off your fucking ass and do something. It is not going to come. You, you, you can study, you could be getting all that knowledge and you could read all these books, but until you get off your fucking ass and do something, it ain't nothing's happening. Nothing ever is going to happen. You want to be successful? There is a price to success. And I believe the price to success is exceptionally small once your perspective gets bigger. We got all this hustler porn. I put out a question in the video. How many of you see people who are under 25 driving Porsches, Lamborghinis, Maseratis? Most, most folks say, I don't really see that. Maybe a couple here and there. Because it's rare. It is rare. Here on the internet, you have people making you think that a 23 year old driving a Lamborghini, which is a 200 to a million dollar car, as if it's normal. It's not normal. That's why all of these internet dudes run to get one because it's so hot, because it's so rare. But then even with that, you got a Lambo. Do you have generational wealth? Do you have assets that make you money? A lot of them, no, they don't. And once their high incomes abate, they're gonna be struggling just like the regular, regular guy out there. If you learn how to really, really sell, if you learn how to ask for the money, you will never be poor again. You will never go without. You'll never be homeless. You'll never be, as I was talking about my situation with my car, where the gas gauge didn't work and I ran out of gas with my little girl in the back seat and we're walking on 75 and some kind gentleman pulls over and takes us to the gas station. You won't have to go through that. I didn't understand the power of sales. I didn't understand the power of building a business back then. If you do the work, and the work is reading, taking this information, and it's actually doing something with it. You take this information, you put it into play. You take this information, you put it into play. There is no hiding, because even if you take the course and you don't do anything, you gotta live with you. You cannot get to that next level. And I'm gonna tell you why it's very, very important for you to get to that next level. There's something going on in the world. It's not just the United States of America. Whether rich or not just getting richer, they're becoming mega rich. And what's happening is many of the world's resources, wealth, land, property, businesses, are being concentrated in the hands of a few people. There are like four people that, can, that pretty much run the internet. Facebook, Google, Amazon and maybe Apple. And I say maybe because they're a hardware company. They provide a lot of things for us to get on the internet and their iCloud, but it's Facebook, it's Google, and it's Amazon. Literally running a big part of the internet. So if you don't start building something of your own, you're gonna be at the mercy of these people who are building these mega companies with a small employee footprint and your job is gonna be obliterated. Like right now, stock market's going up and down, Bitcoin is now going up. It doesn't make sense unless you understand it's being manipulated. 
So you could choose to be part of the game. You could choose to be one of the lambs going to slaughter. Or you could choose to, I'm out. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to make my own money. I'm going to be my own man. I'm going to build my own enterprise. Because if you don't, bah, 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 that's who you're going to be. That's who you're going to be. You're going to be a sheep. And I'm being harsh and I'm deliberately making you mad and I'm pushing your buttons because until you get off your lazy fucking ass and actually start producing and building and creating something, you're a nobody. If you think that these companies care about you, wait five years. There are people right now who are listening to this and like, I'm good. Five years, they're going to find themselves on the unemployment line, outsourced or automated. And be like, what, what happened? Like I said, there's a problem in the world where the rich are getting mega rich and they're sucking up all these resources. So you got two choices. To join that club on whatever level you can get in or to be employed by someone who's in that club. That's where we're going. Now, if you want to be a salesperson, you got to get up every day with the proper mindset and you can't slack. You can't hide. You cannot make your call. That's not going to work. I mean, yeah, everyone, every now and then you have an off day, but you're only going to have one off day a month or maybe one off or one or two off days a quarter. It's about mentally conditioning yourself to make your phone calls, to go through your leads, to do what you need to do to build your business. I put up a video talking about commission sales people. Best path to owning your own business. And most folks don't want to do that. It's like, whoa, whoa. You mean I can work very, very hard and not get paid on Friday? Yes. That's the life of a business. I own a company, or I should say I own part of a company. I didn't get paid from last year. Let me say that again. I didn't get a, I didn't draw a single penny from this company last year. Not a dime. Because I'm building the asset. And you, my friends, must learn that it's going to take some time to build these things. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a few months. It's going to take years. If you want to build something sustainable that's going to support you in your old age. If you're about all these trends and, you know, doing the Kindle thing, which I didn't do, or notice I didn't jump on any of these trends. Now look at the people who jumped on these trends and notice that they're on another trend. They're not building anything core. As we go through this course, I'm going to teach you how to cold call. I'm going to teach you how to prospect. I'm going to teach you how to put together a sales system. Now, the thing is, this is not complex. It's not complex at all. Not at all. The complexity comes in the daily execution of the principles. That's the hard part. That's what takes the most juice. That's what takes you manning up, warming up, getting in that ring of life and fighting every day. There are no days off. And let's talk about work-life balance. There is none. If you want to break free from your average everyday life, it's like a rocket leaving the Earth's atmosphere. It's like a plane taking lift. You, you know a plane burns so much fuel taking lift. They burn most of the fuel landing and taking off. A rocket to break the Earth's atmosphere and the gravitational pull uses so much fuel. It's the same principle. You got to burn, baby. You got to burn that fuel to break out of where you are. Then once you get to where you need to be, you'll find out it'll be much easier. But by then, you'll be in the habit of working hard. You'll be in the habit of making stuff happen. You'll be in the habit of doing the things that you need to do. But once again, this, this life isn't for everybody. It's not. Most of you, this is not going to be your life. It just is. That's just what it is. I used to think that you could train people to be entrepreneurs. I don't think so anymore. It's either in you 
or it's not in you. And that's where we are. That's what we do. That's what we do. Because see, the thing is, I have always been an entrepreneur. I just had outside forces fucking with me. First, my mom and her security issues. Then my wife with her issues. And once I broke free of that and I was in that boarding house, I was 32 years old and I was in the shower, the same shower that I was taking the shower and like bullets went up there because I was taking the shower. That was like my first night in that boarding house. And I looked in the mirror and I said, dude, you got to let this go. You got to let this thing with your father go. You got to let you got to let it all go. And from the age of 32 until now, I've been on this upward trajectory because with personal development. So you could be really good in sales, but if you don't solve these inner problems, you're going to try to fill it with booze, drugs, women, some other dysfunction, which can cripple your success by putting forth. And letting go, putting forth, I have these issues. Saying it out loud. It's just, just, I mean, just you in the room. It, it could be scary. And start working on those issues and start working on yourself and start building stuff. You set yourself on a path of, of life and glory that it, it will be remarkable. Because you'll be one of the few. If you, as a man, had the ability to execute and ask one woman for her name and phone number every day. That is 30 women per month. You would probably be fucking every week. Notice I didn't say just straight up ask for the pussy. I just said, ask a woman for her name and her number every day. And you'll be fucking probably every week because you're gonna meet someone. Because see, this is the thing. Sales is a numbers game, and I didn't understand that until I got into it. And these are the numbers. If you do the same activity day after day after day, you're gonna make sales. But this is the thing the sales are not gonna be coming like nice and even. Oh, no, no, no. They'll cluster. Like, you may do this. Ask a woman for a phone number every day, and then you'll get like a bunch of numbers like toward the end of the month. It'll be like, yes, sure, you're cute, sure, 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 sure. Well, fuck that, fuck the number, let's just go home and fuck. If you put out the phone calls, and you do it with energy and enthusiasm, day after day, you're gonna hit a streak where everybody you talk to is gonna buy, you're like, whoa, it's the law of averages. You just can't get around them, but you got to build an activity data set. You got to have something to measure because, you know, you just out here hustling, but you're not measuring your hustle. You could actually be losing money because there's one or two little things that you do that work real well. But since you're not measuring it, um, you lose, you lose money because you're not really paying attention to your hustle. Once again, if you ask 30 women per month, what is your name? What is your number? And you follow up with a text. There's going to be some that's like, it's going to fizz out. And there's going to be some, the attraction is going to be so strong. You will never want for companionship again. You don't have to do match.com. You don't have to do um, whatever these things have plenty of fish. You don't have to do that. If you as a man have the ability to deal with all of the rejection that's going to come your way. Because what happens is you get to the point where she says no and nothing happens. And what I mean by nothing happens is you don't feel no kind of way. You're like, okay, you have a good day. You go about your business. It don't bother you. When you get to that point, you become invincible because then you can ask more women for their numbers. You can ask for more sales. You can ask for more money because this is what kills most people. The opinions of people that they do not know nor care about. Someone says no to you, ah, come apart. Because you ain't built out of anything. You're not built of substance. And that's what we're going to talk about in this course, because there's going to be a lot of things in here. It's going to be a little wild. It's going to be a little fun. I'm going to have you do things like, you know, your first task. I've already said it. If you're a single man, 
You're going to ask a woman for her phone number and her name every day. If you're a married dude, you're going to make a new friend every day. You're going to meet someone, you're going to get their name and number, you're going to talk to them, you're going to create a friendship. This is called building a network. You'll be amazed that if you spend three months asking people about their, for their phone numbers, getting their names, and establishing a relationship, you'll start to make more money. I know it's funny, but that's what you got to do. So go ahead and do that. And uh, there'll be a much more that's coming in this course. A lot more. So buckle up. Put on your big boy pants. Put on your big girl panties. Because we're going to rock and roll. Because when you leave this course, when you get to the other side of this course, you're going to be so powerful. You're going to be so, so crisp, so clean. And you will be made because you'll be made of money. You walk in the room, you know, that's money. That'll be you. Right now, you just scare a little bitch. Afraid to execute, afraid to try because what if it doesn't work out? Well, what if it doesn't work out? That's called feedback. That's what it is. It's feedback. It didn't work out. Okay, we did something wrong. What we need to do? Let's move to this. Let's move to this. Let's move to this. Let's keep it moving. Stick and move. Stick and move. Until it works. You have your marching orders. Go. Go.